Okay, this video I'm going to teach you how to do the Day of the Dead skull and how to use Pixlr and draw over your photos using a stylus and your iPads. So make sure you grab your seat number iPad and the same number stylus. With your stylus, take off the lid and put it on the back so we don't lose the lid. And then just be careful, they do have this little plastic thing on the end that is meant to be there. So the stylus is all ready to go. You can set that aside. What we want to do now is we need to start by finding a basic drawing of a skull. So click on Safari. On the top, I want you to type in the word simple skull, S-K-U-L-L, -L, drawing. Simple skull drawing. Remember, if I ever go too fast in this video, you can always pause it, catch yourself up, and then keep watching. So I like this skull, it's very nice and simple. So I'm gonna press and hold it. I'm gonna click add to photos, okay? Now where I'm gonna go is to Pixlr. So I'm gonna, in the search bar, type in P-I-X-L-R dot com, P-I-X-L-R dot com. I'm gonna click on advanced Pixlr because there are some tools in there that are in the playful Pixlr, so we're gonna click on advance. You can see those are my pumpkin examples. If you haven't done that video, you can do that after this one. On the left side here, we're gonna click open image. We're gonna hit photo library. You're gonna hit all photos and click on the skull that we just found. Now, we have the skull ready to be drawn on to look like a day of the dead skull. So. What we need to do next is create a new layer. So on the right hand side here, we're gonna hit this plus sign. It says add layer, we're gonna add an empty layer. And now we're free to draw. So with my brushes, I wanna mess with these brushes to get them the right size and, and um, texture that I want. So you can see there's lots of different um, types of brushes. So like, let's say I want to do these little flowers. So I'm gonna start with that one. And then I'm gonna change my color. I want a nice, strong red color for this skull. I'm gonna hit okay. So with this brush, I can decorate my skull just by pressing down with some cool um, flower designs. I could click on this brush at the top again. Um, I could switch to a normal circle. And I want this to have hard edges, so I brought the softness all, all the way down. I'm gonna change my color again. Let's go with a yellow. Click OK. And let's see, this time I'm gonna like do a border around the eyes. So keep playing with the different brushes, the different um, techniques you can do. If you ever need to erase something over here, there's an eraser tool. And you can erase what you drew and retry it. If you ever want to fill something in, this is what you need to do. You can draw the shape that you want and then take this little paint bucket right here and just press inside that shape and it'll fill it. There's also some other fun things that you can try here. Just experiment with um, Pixlr. It uh, has a lot of abilities that it can do. You can create shapes. So if I want a heart, like let's say I want to put hearts in my eyes. I could put that those there. Um, but remember, if you don't like anything, you can always hit the eraser tool and go over those. So mess around with um, these things to decorate your Day of the Dead skull. I'm just going to search up Day of the Dead skull drawing. And I'm actually going to do this in a new tab so I can show you how to save your image. So, Day of the Dead. And just watching, you can see what these types of skulls look like. So this is kind of the look you're going for, just really ornate, decorative, um, really no right or wrong way to do it. Um, so this is what you're going for. Now, when you're finished with your drawing, like let's say you're happy with your drawing, up in the top corner, you hit File. You need to hit Save. You need to hit Download. And then don't click Download again. Instead, you hit View. Press and hold your picture. 
and hit add to photos. That's how you're going to save these. And then you can upload those to Google Drive the same way you upload your photos when we take pictures for projects. So you can look at the iPad photo stations to know how to do that, but that is an easy way to use Pixlr to draw over um, certain images. So when you put your stylus back, make sure you take off the lid, put it back on the end of the stylus, put this back in the correct number slot, put your iPad back and make sure it is getting charged.